this is why I say let everyone <clears throat> say that we're not that great. Let everyone doubt us. Let everyone sit there and talk trash on us. Because we're going to be laughing at the end of the year. 1,000%. So, as Warren Sharp posted, Last year, the Bengals played the NFL number one toughest schedule. Played 11 games versus playoff teams. Most in the NFL since 2000. And we can all agree, if Joe didn't go down, we were definitely going to be a playoff team. 4-7 versus playoff teams but 5-1 versus non-playoff teams. Played 14 games versus teams greater than 500, tied for most in the league at least 2,000. Since at least 2,000. This year, number 6 easiest schedule. And keep in mind, you know, when it's 4-7 and seven versus playoff teams, there is a little bit you got to look at. We had an awful year versus the AFC North. And all six of our losses were versus the, well, six of our losses were for versus the AFC North, and six out of seven, um, the AF, everyone in the AFC North but us made the playoffs. So when it says four versus uh, four and seven versus playoff teams, six of those seven losses were versus the AFC North teams. So it, it sucks, but at the end of the day, we were four and one. Versus playoff teams, non-AFC North playoff teams. So we played five total playoff teams that weren't AFC North, and we were four and one. Which again, is it acceptable that we sucked versus the AFC North last year? Absolutely no. The sad part is the second Ravens game we probably should have won, but we didn't. And Joe did go down in the second quarter, and he was out for the game. Um, and again, like I said, it it sucks at the end of the day. Actually, wait, no, wait. We actually won we beat Cleveland. We went one and five versus the AFC North. So we're four and two. Sorry, four and two versus playoff teams here. I forgot. We didn't actually lose to Cleveland our last week. So four and two versus playoff teams. Which again, like I said, is it acceptable? Absolutely no. At the end of the day, you gotta do better against your division than that. Um two of our games, Ravens game, we had Joe for what? Two quarters. Uh, both Seals game, we had no Joe Burrow. That hurt us a lot. Um, and then, of course, the Cleveland game, we had no Joe Burrow as well. <sighs> There's no excuse, right? At the end of the day, we were five over five, played 14 games versus teams above 500. And that was, again, the toughest schedule in the NFL. And the sad part is, again, if Joe was healthy, we would have made the playoffs. And that's the realistic part, point of view in all of that, is that we were so, we went against so much adversity that we still could have been a playoff team. If Jake Browning would have finished the season off correctly, if we would have beat the Chiefs, which in reality, most of that game, we were down by eight points. We could have beaten the Chiefs if we'd taken a field goal. Um, yeah, so, and then that would actually knock the Chiefs in a weird spot at the end of the year, but it is what it is. So, Cincinnati Bengals last year, we played the Ravens, Browns, Steelers, Texans, Colts, Jags, Titans, uh, Chiefs. We played the Cardinals, Rams, uh, Seahawks, 49ers, Bills, and Vikings. And looking at this, I mean, this is insane. Like, again, these three are juggernauts. They're the AFC North. You already know that. <laughs> Juggernaut team right here. Underrated team right here, which we actually smacked the crap out of. Um, Jacksonville's always tough. Tennessee, they smacked the crap out of us. Then we had the Chiefs, which, you know, they're a superpower. The Bills are always a good team, even though we beat them all the time. They are still a very good team. Great team, great team, great team. <sighs> yeah, they're a team. Um, and then, yeah, th they are also a team. Which, very close game we came back in. And we should beat the Texans. I mean, again, sorry Texans fans, but we should have beat you guys. Tyler Boyd could have caught a freaking wide open touchdown to win. I digress. This year, we still play the three studs in the AFC North. It is what it is. Then we play the Titans. That's going to be a tough game. Broncos, that's not tough at all. Chargers, that's not tough at all. Chargers are going to really have to rebuild everything. Raiders, that's not tough. We play a superpower. 
Okay. Cowboys. I don't know what to think about the Cowboys. That's not tough. That's going to be tough. That's not tough at all. That's not tough at all. And then that's not tough at all. So, yeah. Six easiest schedule. We're projected 10 and a half wins. This is why when everyone talks trash and says, Ah, oh, the Bengals are going to suck next year. Bengals can blah, blah, blah. We did it. We did what we did. For, with the hardest schedule possible. With no quarterback. With T. Higgins hurt half the season. Jamar Chase got hurt a little bit of the season. We had no right tackle because Jonah Williams wasn't good. We had pretty much no left guard because Cordell Bolton sucked. We lost DJ Reader. We lost at the end of the season. We lost Cam Taylor Bray. Cheeto was ups and downs. You know, healthy, not healthy, healthy, not healthy. I mean, the list goes on and on. And Sam Hubbard got hurt part of last season. Trey Hendrickson got hurt. All that, all those adversities. And we still did this. And as it says right here, and this is the number one biggest year-over-year -year improvement for any team. When it comes to easiest schedule. Then every problem we had last season. Our right tackle was a problem. Trent Brown. Irv Smith sucked. We didn't have a tight end situation. Mike. We lost Tyler Boyd. We're going to catch the ball now. I'm joking. I'm joking. Joe Mixon. Really, in all honesty, there's no problem with him. But we didn't have any pass blocking in the backfield. Our backfield was off what pass blocking. Zach Moss. Defensively, DJ Reader got hurt. You know, near the end of the season, it sucks. He left. Sheldon Rankins. Obviously, that's not a one-on-one -on -one comparison. We're going to have to draft a D-tackle who can be a run stuffer, but that's nice. Our secondary was young. Couldn't get the job done. Was just absolutely destroyed. Okay? Well, how about you add more depth to the secondary? Geno Stone, bring him in. Well, what about the communication? The communication on secondary sucked. Where, I mean, you just brought in Geno Stone, but he's also younger. Von Bell, bring him back. Now that secondary is figured out. We lost Shido. We're probably going to draft a corner. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen during the draft. Nobody does. We can have ideas and theories and concepts on what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, we know one thing. This team is almost complete. Almost complete to go win a Super Bowl. The draft is going to be the icing on the cake. And, yeah, we're going to have to hit on this draft. I don't think it's as important because we had a really great free agency. But I think we definitely need to hit on some of these draft picks. Because we can walk out of this draft with a star stud D tackle for the foreseeable future. A franchise right tackle. A great wide receiver that could be a nice replacement for T. Higgins eventually. We could uh, walk out of this draft with an offensive guard that could compete with Cordell Volson and make our line a thousand times better. We could walk out of this draft with a pass rusher that can get after the quarterback and make turnovers happen. And finally, we can get out of this draft with a cornerback that could be that fourth rotational guy and get the job done. And now that we can even have, and I didn't even mention here, by the way, Dax Hill. You might have you might have realized, and you probably commented, you, you missed Dax Hill in the secondary, man. What about Dax Hill? I was meaning to say that. I made a video earlier talking about Dax Hill and how Dax Hill is going to move to slot corner and or corner or slot, right? And that's the X factor. That's the dangerous part. Is yeah, we got Geno Stone. We got Von Bell. We got Tyson Anderson coming back from injury. He's gonna be good. We got Jordan freaking Battle. And then the X Factor is Dax Hill. Because as he said, he's gonna give it his all. He's gonna do everything he can to play his new position perfect. This is why this year is gonna be deadly. Because Every place you can say there's a hole or an error or a problem in the secondary, we filled it. 
Cheeto left. Daxo. Mike Hilton's getting a little bit older. He's slower. Daxo. We're going to draft a corner. We're going to fix. We're going to perfect the secondary. Once you perfect the secondary, you get a good pass rusher. Placement for DJ Reader. Get after the quarterback. Shut down the run. We have the linebackers. You now have the offensive line. You're going to perfect the offensive line. You get a franchise right tackle for the foreseeable future. Cordell Volson's replacement. You have tight ends. You have wide receivers. You have the running backs. We're going to get this job done. And we're going to finish what we started versus those damn freaking Rams back in 2021. That stupid freaking Logan Wilson phantom holding call took away what was rightfully ours. A Lombardi. We're not, we're not going to lose this time. We're coming for you, NFL. Get ready. Who day?